Lots of you getting in touch about the mice. Sue says, you could just buy a cat to keep the mice away. Well, you see, there's the rub, Sue. Uh, you mention something like that and then people go absolutely spare. It's mean, it's cruel. So we tried the very PC route earlier on, but you can rest assured that if the humane traps and the <laughs> Nutella and all of that doesn't work, oh, then um, we're gonna, we are going to bring a cat in. Otherwise, it's going to chew through the cables. Downing Street have got cat to keep yeah, the mice away. It'll chew through the cables and we'll be very PC as the place burns down. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Sarah says, I've used uh, the humane mouse traps in my house before. All I caught was a snail. <laughs> oh. uh, Roy Gamble says, you could get a ferret and never see another rodent ever. They don't like the smell. Oh, apparently. really? They don't like the smell. Uh, so, I'm going to sneeze. Hang on, it's Bless gone. You. No, it's gone. It gone. It's gone. Oh, that's so annoying. <laughs> right, Sophie says, apparently older mice are clever enough to avoid the traps. Oh. Been here, seen it, done it. Uh, Emma says they uh, love nut chocolate. I've caught two in two nights, but I'm annoyed that I've lost two chunks of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, downside. Angie says, try the pest control, man. It worked for me. And uh, Stuart says, a, a cat works for us. No, wait, she brings the mice in the house. Yeah, that's just a good that point. Is true. That is a good point. Well, we've, with the one that we caught this morning, uh, we've let it go. Let it go. <laughs> uh, out onto the, uh, onto the South Bank. And so uh, we'll just wait until it comes back in again. <laughs> See what happens? We should have put a jack on it. They do. <laughs>